friends, I hope you all are doing great. It is me, Nikki, here, and I'm so excited to be here today to take you on the journey of making over our home theater room slash media room. This was a space that was one of our guest bedrooms in our home. We had two guest bedrooms, and we felt like that was a bit much, so we just needed one guest bedroom. We wanted our home to function more so every day for us, and we really were excited to have a theater room. So a while back, we purchased these recliners because we were on a mission to find the perfect recliners because the space is very small for for a theater room and when we found these they were very comfortable they were very affordable and they fit the space we have five recliners one is in my bedroom temporarily I was using it while I recovered but we're bringing it back in here now because I'm all better now and now today I am going to take you on the journey of getting this space and making it a joyful space I'm going to do all the Christmas decorations the makeover and everything in one video I'm also teaming up with my friends at Home Depot to get this project done which was the perfect Perfect partnership. So friends, we made our list, we checked it twice, and then we headed to Home Depot. Now, Mike and I knew we wanted this project to be simple. We wanted to buy stock cabinets, pre-made countertops, everything kind of just putting it together. We didn't want to do any special builds. So you will find that this is going to be a very doable project. So if you don't have a big skill level with DIY, you may be able to do this one here. So I'm hoping to explain it well so that if this is something you want to do, you feel like you can do it. Now, with that being said, the great thing about Home Depot was it's a one-stop shop. You know, when I go in there, I've got everything I needed to complete the makeover, and I love that about them. I also love the fact that when you have those unplanned things that go on around your home, you can go there, get the items that you need, and do the project yourself. You don't always have to hire people because you can save a lot of money by doing things yourself. And with Home Depot, they sell everything from carpet to cabinets to refrigerator and appliances, and they have that you know, financing through their Home Depot card if you need that, if that's an option that you need. I always promote that you save up for those kind of desired projects. But sometimes we have those unplanned projects that you, you know, as a homeowner, you know come up and look at the special benefits that they have with their card if that's something that you need in your home. Perfect example, our cashier, her home was totally destroyed in Hurricane Matthew. Eight months prior to that, it was destroyed from the previous storm we had. She had just recovered from that. She did not plan that, and she said she was at her wit's end. So, you know, things come up as homeowners. So definitely, you know, I, that's why I love showing you these projects because it gives you the power to kind of take control of your home and not always have to hire people to come in and do it where you have to pay a lot of money out. Now, with that being said, we bought the stock cabinets, we bought our refrigerator, and we put them together and Mike was like, okay, it's the perfect fit. I was like, Mike, no way it is the perfect fit. We're gonna have to cut something or, or something. He said, no, this will slide right into our closet area and we'd have a bar area. So I asked him to put it up here so I could show you all and see how it looked. And I didn't like the way I had that space right there, but we said, okay, we're going to put a little piece in there to kind of make it look like one unit. The countertop, Bought it from Home Depot, did not have to cut a thing. It would fit right in the closet. The key is, and that was very surprising to me, and I was so excited about that. But the key was we wanted this to be something that we could pull out if we wanted to make this back into a bedroom. We didn't want to make it a permanent fixture in the closet. So I'll show you how we do that. The next thing we did was we painted. And I wanted to go with a darker color because it is a media room. And then at the bottom, I wanted to keep it white to kind of keep it bright because you know I like white and lighter. And I used this Marquee Paint by Bear. And it's the first time I actually used this exact paint and I love it because I used the color intellectual it was beautiful it's that nice rich color and I thought it would be perfect for the space okay so now that painting is under control let's go back to this built-in now again we don't want anything that's permanent because if we want to change this back to a bedroom or we sell the house we want the closet to be able to be a closet again now we did take the casing off around the closet that was a must we had to do that and that's the only kind of thing prep we had to do for it. Then we built a box and the box is basically going to slide in and out of the closet if need be. Typically we're not going to do this all the time just if we want to change it back to a closet but we want it to have the ability to just kind of pull something out and not necessarily build into the closet. Now the key thing if you're going to do this once you build your box you want to make sure that everything is fitting nicely inside the box like your countertop and and 
your cabinets and all of that. But you also, what is key is to put sliders under the bottom. You want to definitely put one on each cor um, corner and then in the center because this is going to allow you to slide the unit in and out of the closet when you need to. If you don't put these under here, it's going to be very difficult to get it out, especially with your carpet or floors, and you don't want to damage your carpet or floors by trying to slide this piece out, so you definitely want to do that. Another thing is the backsplash. So I worked on this project because Mike was working on other things and I wanted something that was doable for me. I found this in Home Depot, which was a pill and stick. It feels like metal, it looks like metal tile, and it, but it's not, but it's easy to cut. And you basically just peel and stick it on. It took me all of 30 minutes to do, but it was really a beautiful look when it was done. Okay friends, now we got the little tidbits out the way or the big tidbits out the way. I want to go and jump into showing you the reveal and then I'll take you on a tour and give you more details. So friends, here is the completed space and we are so happy with it because the built-in fits in there perfectly. It's working out great. We have the painted walls and the baseboards up. We're still gonna put one final coat on the bottom white there, but we are really happy with it. We put crown molding, Mike installed crown molding around the top there. Uh, we went with a, the dark gray and the white and I really love it in the space because I have gray and white throughout my home, but this is a richer kind of more charcoal color of gray and it's really nice for the theater room and we call it the joy room because when I was shopping for the Christmas things for the space everything seemed to have the word joy on it that I loved I didn't plan that at all but it just worked out that way so we said this is going to be the joy room but the space actually feels larger now that we have it complete it is a small space but it feels so large now and I think it's in part because of painting that bottom white it really opens up the space and I love having that upper part in that dark because it still gives us that nice rich color that we need for the media space. So I want to take you through and I want to show you like inside the cabinets how I have it organized. I want to show you just kind of little tidbits in the room and how I put the little uh, holiday touches on there because I have been prepping for the holiday because this is where we're going to be watching those Christmas videos and enjoying the space and so I really am happy with it. Now I have gray and white throughout my home like I told you so red is the accent color that I'm using for all of my Christmas decor and you know in the next couple weeks I'll be taking you through as I decorate the spaces in my home and I hope you will enjoy that. Now as for the bar area here this is the one that slides in and out and we love it. It's the perfect size and it fits exactly what we need. Now next week Mike is going to build a platform here to raise the back three seats so that it is like theater seating. So there will be a platform here and then we're getting new carpet the week after that all upstairs. So they're going to install carpet um, over the platform also so there's a seamless look. Now, when all of that is complete, I will post a picture on Instagram so you can see the completed room with the platform and everything. If you're interested, I'm at home with Nikki on Instagram and Facebook. I'll post it on there also. Please ignore my little tree here. I have not finished decorating it. We have the popcorn maker up there, and then I have a tray with some wine and my little kind of reindeer and an ice bucket. Now, we have the fridge here, and I love this because I have it all stocked up for the holidays now, and I'm trying to, room by room, get everything ready for the holidays. I got the candy drawer here and I had it kind of themed around Christmas because you know I'm really excited to be hosting this year because I didn't host Christmas last year and so it's really exciting to be back hosting this year and I had these little bags here that I got you know a lot of this is candy but I wanted to do something that was more kind of savory like peanuts and things like that so I found these cute little sacks here and I put um you know those candy the like kind of plastic like like uh, candy bags cellophane more so uh, candy bags and I just put peanuts in them and then stuck them in there and I have a little healthier option here but who wants to eat healthy food around the holidays but I you know I put one thing in there just in case I have that guest I don't think they'll be in my home but okay and then we have the popcorn drawer here I have the bigger bowls here uh, for when Mike and I want to just kind of make one bowl for both of us and then I have some disposable plates here in case I you know bring a cheese tray up or anything or when guests are here and I have the individual popcorn containers boxes that I absolutely love I thought they were just the cutest and napkins and salt for your um 
you know, for your popcorn and things like that. Now in the bottom drawer, this is where I keep all of the throws in case while we're watching TV, I get cold or Mike gets cold. I have, I think four or five of them in here and then this is the perfect spot for them to be tucked away. And that way they're not out, but they're easy to get to. And up here in the top cabinet, I'm prepping for getting ready to host uh, for Christmas. So I have all the items up there so that when guests come, I can just pull them down, sit them out, you know, as we go through the holiday season. And I have to share my little wine stopper here. And you can use, I should say bottle stopper because you don't have to use it for wine. You can use it for any type of bottle, but it lights up and it's so festive. And I think it's just a nice little touch in the media room. And so I will definitely be using that around the holiday season here. And then of course my joy sign. And I thought that this really, uh, you know, it gave a kind of theater feel to it. I thought it was really fun. And it has a little uh, kind of on and off switch on the side so it makes it easy and it's battery operated. So they're really cute. And so I really had a lot of fun th with this here. And then on the table here, I just have another Christmas accent with my little uh, kind of remote control holder. And of course the joy pillow. So this is why it's the joy room. It says joy everywhere you look in this room. And then I also have the slimline Christmas tree here because I wanted a tree in the room, but with it being such a small space, you know, I couldn't put a regular full size tree in here. I'm still working on this tree, so it looks a little, mm, mm, not finished, but I will finish it up this week. And I'm going to put black and white Christmas movie pictures in the little frames on the tree. I thought that would be a fun touch for the media room. Now another thing that I did for the back wall here, I just simply took some red fabric scrapbook paper that you can get from your craft store and then I put Christmas cards on there. Just, I think two of them have snowflakes and one has the word joy and just simple Christmas pictures. That made it real simple. And then after Christmas, I can just put another print in there. But I thought this was a fun, affordable way to have Christmas art in the space. And I love it in the space. So this was something that I put on the back wall in the room. And and, you know basically that's it it's not a lot to the room but I like it like that I didn't want to you know overwhelm the space because it is a very small space so I hope you have enjoyed you know the makeover and you know what I've shared with this space we're really enjoying it I want to say um, definitely check out Home Depot for your needs as you decorate for the holidays they have all the Christmas stuff out I'll put all the links below if you're interested have a beautiful day and I'll see you at the next one and this is Nikki saying goodbye